Hi there, here's Canon Danny on the outdoor studio. I'm having great fun today. It's summer, it's so warm and beautiful. Uh, and so I'm doing some filming as well. Uh, I've promised you to cover the topic on do you really need a road bar on your bike? And so I'm gonna share just a couple of thoughts about it right now. So what the road bar basically means is the specifically designed handlebar for road bikes that comes with specific, specifically designed shifters. This is the STI, so you, you are um, both braking and changing the gears. Uh, it looks so much different from you what you would see on the MTB uh, and also on the trekking or, or some of the touring bikes uh, as well. Why do we use uh, road bars? Well, road bars are giving you different um, uh, positions uh, on your bike so you can uh, ride on the top that would be for uphills mostly you can ride on the hoods we call it on the hoods also on such position on the hood and then on the bottom on your on your uh, handlebar uh, because you have so many uh, different uh, position possibilities it's really comfy and really good but the question is is it really better so much better on uh, road cycling than the flat bar the the answer is not for everyone why is it so because when you think about the road bars you think that you have this uh, grip which is uh, more aero now first off it's not necessarily more aero than the other grips and secondly you should ask yourself how often would you really use this position because having you know specifically designed shifters and handlebars just for this position which you don't actually use so much uh, doesn't make so much sense so uh, if you even look at the riders on like Tour de France or some racing uh, riders um, on, the, on the road races they don't so, so they don't use this position so often so um, like maybe much less often than you would expect uh, because uh, is this position so much aero I'm gonna just uh, ask you one question which position is uh, more aero when I'm riding like this on the bottom of my handlebar or when I'm riding like this just uh, notice that I'm not doing anything with my upper body so the aerodynamics in terms of the upper body doesn't really change what changes is this grip which one is more aero of course this one is more aero because when I'm having my forearm like this it's less aero than this one and if you will notice uh, riders on uh, on uh, like tour de france stages if they really want to go like solo and really aero they would put their forearms even without the arrow having arrow extension like this and try to be aero save more energy of course uh, this position is just the best one for sprinting because uh, you are able to fix your upper body with the strength and you can sprint to the finish line the question is how often are you gonna be sprinting uh, on your bike so there is uh, lots of uh, so-called sportive bike or comfort bikes uh, which which come with similar geometry as the racing bikes and maybe even same wheels uh, which are really fast on the roads on the tarmac but with the flat bars with the flat bars you will have uh, different uh, shifters uh, maybe easier for for many many like enthusiast um, riders and different brakes and those brakes will be in my opinion just better to to handle and in addition to flat bar if you put some bar ends I know uh, not many cyclists use bar ends but flat bar with the bar ends on the uh, on the road is really uh, super comfy so uh, I'm, I'm also going to upload the uh, episode on uh, different models of the bikes that come with the flat bars and we're gonna compare the geometry uh, but I'm just saying that if you are even like training a lot on the road uh, but maybe you're not racing you can go on crits maybe with the flat bar it's, it's, it would be okay but if you're not so you know race oriented not even like endurance road bike rider the flat bar on the road bike with road specific wheels can really do well for you so these are my thoughts on the flat bars 
against road bars let me know what do you think about it if you use flat bars let us know how do you feel on them on like maybe uh, long rides do you feel arrow on bar ends specifically if you if you uh, use bar ends so that all those who think about buying different bikes will have even more info thanks for watching guys and it's so awesome to be cyclist see ya